<laughs> this is gonna be funny. <laughs> All right, so here we are today. We're out at a, uh, a nice little park here, uh, you know, where we're close to where we live. And uh, there's some dogs in the background. This is actually a dog park. So if you hear dogs barking, um, that, that's what's happening. We figured we belong in the dog park. Yeah, we did. We yeah, did. Okay. We do. Got and we're dog people anyway, so, you know, we're all right. It's all good. And it's dog day of summer right now. Okay. Right. So, uh, but anyway, why are we here, Jason? We come out here to, to help you with this, I think. Well, yeah. So I, I got a DJI Phantom 4 here. And I took it on trade from a guy who had made some settings in it. And the first couple times I took it out, the video was horrible. So I was like, man, I wish I knew someone that could help me with camera settings on a drone that knew something about drones, if that knew something about somebody. cameras. I know we need to find somebody. We gotta get somebody like that. But you'll have to do it for now. Okay. Okay. We'll have to do. We'll have to. We'll have to make you do with drone nerd. Okay. Okay. So. So anyway. So I say camera nerd. Drone yeah, nerd. Yeah. Gr yeah. Drone nerd. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start my video there recorder. There are also flies here. here so, so if you see me doing that. So yeah. That's it's why just flies. Okay. That. Whoa. Hey. That's now. Right. <laughs> that's not the problem. Okay. So, we've got the. Uh, we've got the DJI. Go for app up here, and it's um, got this recording. Yeah, it's recording. Okay. So we got a uh, we got a little bit of a washed out video. So let's go ahead and let's get the drone airborne. All right, because uh, it'd be cool to have a real life picture. And there goes our Phantom Four. <laughs> you jumped. <laughs> so we'll go up here and get our get a shot and get, I, a, get a good distance away so they can't hear us. Uh, so we got it hovering up above. We should photograph the dog humping the other dog. Um, I think. All right. <laughs> Anyway, so we're at a dog park. Fix my camera, this is John. This X-rated dog park, by the way. <laughs> fix my camera. All right, so, well, what you have here is you have a, a lot of stuff on automatic, uh, which is okay. You got an ISO, and ISO is up to 800 already. Yeah, it's super um, washed out. Yeah, you got auto white balance here, and auto exposure. And uh, so, let's just take a look at your settings here. So, if we go back here on your auto auto exposure down here, you got the EV, which is your uh, light value. Okay. And so you're telling it that whenever it gets light into the sensor that it adds 2.7 stops. So it's basically almost three times the amount of light that it needs. So okay. uh, first thing we're going to do is bring that down. And once we bring that down, oh, you're going you're to see... Already getting better. You're going to see right away that, that the picture improves quite a bit. I like that, yeah. And um, so we have a much better picture here even though that we're on auto. Now we can also uh, go just go to manual and you see that your manual really uh, has quite wow. a dark picture yeah and our now our EV becomes this becomes our meter okay and this is telling us that we're two stops below so we have to open up two stops so we'll do that with the uh, the only thing we can do it with is the shutter we can also do it with the ISO but uh, we'll do it with the shutter and we'll bring okay. this back up uh, so that's at zero and then there now we oh, have okay. we have this picture here okay now I like being on manual because like today we have the clouds coming by and stuff and uh, so that way if, if it gets a little bit dark and a little bit light that's that's the way it should be. Okay. If you have it on auto exposure when it gets a little bit dark it's going to try and even it out so you're going to go in post you're going to be looking at that video it's going to keep changing the light value is going to keep changing it's going to be light, lighter and darker. Okay. So I like to leave that on manual and then uh, let's go to the video settings and see what you have here. Uh, video size um, you got uh, 1080p 24 that's fine and it's perfect for uh, you know YouTube things okay. like that. Uh, if you want something larger, you shoot 4K, and a lot of people say, oh, 4K, 4K all the time. But 4K is a very large file, and uh, so when you have 4K, if you have if you have a powerful machine to do the editing on, it's okay. okay. But if you don't, then it's kind of kind of difficult. Gotcha. Video format, uh, you can have MOV or you can have MP4. Uh, either one works. Okay. Um, you know, you're on you're on PC, so most time you probably want MP4. I always shoot MOV because I'm on uh, oh. Mac, uh, so it's a Mac. Uh, Type of uh, format. You're gonna use Premiere so it can it can edit Premiere can either, do right? either one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. all of them can do either one. Okay, it's just no matter preference. what platform. Yeah, it's just, just yeah. your preference. Okay. Uh, NTC is just the coding for uh, North America. Gotcha. PAL is coding for uh, Europe. So depending on where you want to have it, um, uh, where you're gonna present it at. If you're presenting it here, then you you definitely want an NTSC. Uh, that way, it can run on everything here. Okay. White balance. You have automatic white balance. Again, this is another one that I like to set uh, okay. to a setting because automatic white balance. As we move around, the lighting is going to change and the white balance is going to change, and so it's going to add a different color cast as the as the drone is flying. Okay, and that, now does that tend to be pretty abrupt? So you'll see it in the no, video. No, it's, it's it's pretty it's, it's pretty gradual. Smooth, okay. Yeah, but but it does happen, okay. and so it's really hard to take it take that out in post. Um, so I like to put it like on sunny, or even cloudy, like today's cloudy. Uh, okay. You put it on that. And you notice that doesn't really change it all that much here. No, I noticed on the cloudy that brought the ground out a little bit more, so it probably... Yeah, it's exposing for it, and yep. it's also uh, making the color so that it, it matches that, so you can see all of this uh, underneath that particular light. Gotcha. And it's all in Kelvin degrees of light, so uh, normal day is 5,500 Kelvin. As we get cloudy, it gets a little bit higher because it's a little bluer, so it's, it's basically adjusting all of okay. that. So that's probably why you notice that the green sort of popped a little gotcha. bit more. Okay. Um, 
Then the style, uh, the style is just what you want. It would, it would automatically go through and um, set different parameters to uh, make it sharper, uh, intensify the color, do stuff like that. Like if you go to uh, landscape, it probably intensify the greens. So with the mountains, bit. we put and the, the background we have, we're probably looking at a landscape. Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. The landscape is probably ninety percent of what you're going to be shooting okay. uh, when you're up with this. So that and let's see, um, color. Uh, that was the style and color is um, normal. You can you can set different things here depending on what you want to do. If you're going to work in something in post, uh, D log or D sin like. It's pretty good because it shoots a very flat image. Yeah, I noticed it flattened out the, the yeah. picture there as soon as you clicked that. Yeah, so it shoots a very flat image, and that way you can make all your adjustments in post. Okay. And so it keeps all the details. So that would be kind of the equivalent of shooting in RAW on your digital camera. It would be. Okay. It would be. So yeah. all the data is there, and then you'd manipulate it later. Correct. Gotcha. And you actually have more data than you would in the other ones. Okay. When you put it to normal or true color, uh, it's going to try to reproduce the colors. Uh, black and white, just going to make it black and white. Uh, Vivid will intensify the colors. So basically, it's going through a process as it's shooting uh, where it's going to lay that or burn that into the data. Okay. So it's going to be hard to ch uh, adjust that or change that in so, post. So for someone that doesn't do a lot of color correction in post or isn't comfortable with that in their video editing, what are the best settings? On um, this? True color or vivid, depending on what you want, or normal. Okay. Normal's fine too. Okay. Uh, normal probably, you know, all the, all the time. Okay. If you want to really intensify the color, if, like if you get up online and the color isn't what you want, Go vivid. Uh, you can do that. Yeah, vivid. Okay. Uh, but other than that, you know, that's um, that's pretty much I think all the settings. Go ahead and set it to D-Log because I'm going to have you edit this later. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know that we were doing that. Oh, we might as well, right? All okay. right, so uh, there it is, D-Log. And okay. then, um, then we'll hit the record button there and okay. wait for it to come back on. And then there, now you can fly it around and Perfect. get some, some video and we'll show everybody the video uh, and it, afterwards and what, what we do on color correcting also. And now he's actually flying. He's and now I'm actually flying. Actually okay. flying around. So now, I, so, any, any, but this video has just gone to hell now because he's just like flying. Uh, so. that's, that's what I do. You, this is what you do. This is what I do. So, um, wow. I lost my video feed there. Let's see if it comes back. There we go. It comes back. Okay. So, any other settings we wanna we wanna change in here? I mean, we got through color. I just wanna check. That's all the stuff in video. Okay. What about under the set the little gear there? Well, underneath the gear, you get into uh, a whole lot of other things. Uh, one of the things that you might want in here, like sometimes you wanna see the histogram. Uh, and I like using the histogram because the histogram tells me the actual exposure. You want okay. to keep all of the data towards the center there. Okay. Uh, you don't want it to fall off one side or the other. That means it's clipping. Okay. Uh, another thing it's going to tell you if it's clipping is the overexposure. Oops. Not used to use my finger with somebody else holding that thing. Yeah, so. Take it. No, no, I don't want. I don't want to take it now. You're, you're flying. So I'm you not do flying. I'm not doing anything. Do I'm just holding it. Uh, overexposure warning. When we put that on, uh, if something gets overexposed, you're going to see lines going across there. So that's a good thing to let you know that uh, you need, need to make some type of adjustment. Okay. On there. But um, other than that, I think, a bit. we have weak video warning. Well, obviously, we're, we're also going to start hearing it, too, I think, okay. once, once we bring it down too low. It sounds like a bunch of angry bees, which is what all drones do. That's true. So. Okay. Well, we're not going to get our video back. We'll, uh, we'll have to get some, some screenshots of that. Yes, yes. Well, okay. also, well, we lost video, so we don't, we don't have anything to show you. But we do have video recording up there, so we'll have some video to yeah. show you. Cool. All right. All right. Well, there's uh, basic camera settings for the DJI Phantom 4. Or any of them, really. Well, yeah. yeah. But, We'll, we'll probably do a special one for the Mavic just because, right? Yeah, it'd be exactly the same, <laughs> only, only the same. So yeah, so uh, go ahead and check that out, and uh, we'll be doing some more how-to videos. We'll be doing some of the special shots, all that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and get notifications of when we're going to release new videos. Yep, and now he's going to land it. Now I'm going to land it. Yeah, I always catch him. Yeah, I do too. All right, yeah. so we're we're ready. Both are going. Are we sure? Everything All going? Three. All three. Sound. Oh, okay. One, two, three. All right, take one new, I guess. One new. <laughs> one dot one. One point three five. Okay, are we ready for this? I think we are. Okay. Okay. Are you doing the intro, or am I doing the intro? Sure. Okay, here we go. I got you. Go. All right, so here we are today. We're out at a, uh, a nice little park here, uh, you know, where we're close to where we live. And uh, there's some dogs in the background. This is actually a dog park. So if you hear dogs barking, uh, that, that's what's happening.